my YouTube channel. Today I'm got a WWE figure review for you today. This is the Elite 54 John Cena. Right, 54? Yeah. I had to make sure that was right. It says Elite Collection down at the bottom and the top like it has the WWE logo it has the figure inside that you can see it says build a, build a display and at the top corner it says John Cena entrance gear but I have one John Cena figure already, and I've heard that the Elites are pretty rare ones, so I wouldn't pick this up. On the back of the, on the side of the box, actually, it has a picture of John Cena. The back of the box, it has John Cena, his name, right there, and then... It has a picture of him. It says information about him. So you can pause it if you want to and try to read it. But, yeah. So, without further ado, I'm going to get this thing open. And we will get this video started. Okay, guys, so I got John Cena out of the packaging, but first I'm going to have to eat because I'm starving. What? I'm coming. All right, guys. I'm back, finally. Um, I got John Cena Elite 54 out of the packaging. And right off the bat, my mom got home with food, so I had to eat. So, there's that. that. I put John Cena's shirt on him, so it will be easier to um, show you guys. Because I draw very, very many things at one time. Oh, I think this is a piece of John, so. Anyway, he does come with a hat. It says, what does it say? Never give up. And never give up. It's hard to see because the my camera won't pick up the lettering. And then my first John Cena action figure that I've gotten for Christmas a couple years back, I have had as well. But I lost the action figure shirt. So, um, so... Also, he comes with his dog tags. Is that what they're called? Dog tags? It's silver paint. I'm guessing this paint. It feels like wiry though. So I'm not really sure what it is. Tell me down in the comment section. And then you got black tips. on it so um tips like the dog tags so enough about that time to get on to the figure itself Hey, he's tall enough you can actually see him through the camera. 
So, <clears throat> here's John, only 50, at least, Elite 54, wow. And here's what he looks like with his shirt on. I would assume the articulation is the same for all these figures. The legs move up and down, but when you have the shirt on, it limits the foot. The leg articulation, the boot, the boot can go all the way around, so can the leg, as you can see there. So you can have him look like he has a broken leg, which is kind of cool, I guess. So, oops. Um... Just so you guys know, I am, well, I ordered a Daniel Bryan action figure. He's supposed to come in on the 30th, which is also Halloween. So, I'll probably review that. In a couple days when it comes in. Um, the arms can move up and down. But I would assume the sleeve on his shirt there cuts off the articulation a little bit. Same with the head. His hand can't, can't move that much. If you rotate his head, his whole body will rotate. And the body rotates all the way around. Um, so, that's... That's basically it for this... WWE figure review. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Bye! Hit the subscribe button down below this video so you'll be signed up to see more videos from me. I do videos here as often as I can. Hit that little bell button right next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I upload a gameplay or um, all the other stuff that I do on this channel. If you have some thoughts on what I should review next or if you want me to review my other WWE figures again, get into more detail, tell me that in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!